Ooh wee, we got the pictures installed and boy do they look so good up on the wall there. Hey everyone, in this video, we'll be taking a look at some abstract wall art. If you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything's unmarked for us. Now let's go ahead and open it up. Here's a look at how it comes packaged with the hardware kit right here for us and then everything else foamed and taped together. And here's a look at all three pieces of art. They look fantastic. Wow, quality is top notch. Got the gold accent and border. But look at those, pretty sweet. And flipping them around, you'll see the hardware's already installed except on one of them. I'm assuming that's for shipping purposes. But hardware's on the back. And everything else we need is included in this kit. Here's a look at everything opened up. So we have all the hardware we need to install right there. All the hardware we need to install all three sets of pictures. And then we have some additional screws right here. They also give us a pencil, which will come in handy for marking our measurements. And they even give us a measuring tape. Now let's go ahead and get these installed. Ooh wee, we got the pictures installed and boy do they look so good up on the wall there. The gold frame really accents the curtain that we have here and the colors just add a nice pop to the room, especially off of our semi-white walls there. Look at those mounting, very simple and straightforward. The hardest part is just laying everything out and getting it exactly where you want it positioned on your wall. If you're wondering about optimal frame height per Google, 57 inches off the ground is where you want the center of your artwork to be. But again, up to you and your space and how you see fit to mount them. Let's fire up that wide angle shot right here just to really appreciate how everything looks. But we did do the 57 inch mounting center there and then tried to space them all evenly along this wall here. So I'm really pleased with how they turned out and how they look. 